corn, pre-emerge herbicides. We don't have a lot of time, but we got a lot to talk about here. Well, we do, and many of these products can be used either before you plant or they can be used after you plant. The difference is you need rainfall to get them to activate. And if you want to get the most out of them, uh, in most cases, you want to put them on before you plant just so you can have a little bit more of a window to catch some moisture. Now, in conventional corn, we still talk a lot about getting a good grass control herbicide down like Harness or Pass Outlook Duo. We want the full rate out there and then follow with a good broadleaf killer post-emerge that may give you a little bit of activity on grasses as well. Things like Callisto Laudus Impact or even Status combined with a little bit of Atrazine. So that's the conventional side. When you look at the Roundup Ready side or even Liberty Link corn, what we want to see is something that has some broadleaf activity down more than just what Harness Surpass Outlook or Dual would offer. Well, Roundup's fantastic on most grasses and most of the Roundup resistant weeds across the country are broadleaf weeds. So if we can get a broadleaf component in the pre-emerge herbicide, to help it out so we don't need the Roundup to control that weed later on, that's a good thing. And if there are a few more escape grasses, it's not that big a deal in terms of weed control, we can still kill the weeds with Roundup post-emerge. Now, when we think about maximum yield, we really need an awesome pre-emerge herbicide that doesn't let hardly any weeds pop up later. So I'm concerned that guys are cutting yep. the rates back too far on these pre's, trying to save a couple of bucks, and they're losing lots of dollars post-emerge that they don't really see. Because for each one inch of weed growth, you're losing at least five bushels of yield. Yeah, and I actually think that's pretty low. But anyway, here's where I would go with this. I'd use either Balance Flex down, or Bear also talks quite a bit about Corvus, which is going to have the Balance Flex plus uh, another- Carbazone Methyl, which is an ALS herbicide. Yeah, or I would consider Verdict or Sure Start Triple Flex. Sure Start and Triple Flex are the same thing. So you've got these different options that are out there. They're all gonna give you some grass control, but what we're really after is that added broadleaf control because typically with Roundup resistant weeds, they're going to be broadleaves. Let's compare these options that you've got. First of all, I'll start off with Verdict. We're talking about a strong rate of sharpen plus a very light rate, in my opinion, of Outlook. So Outlook is the, the just straight grass control product. It does some on small seeded broadleaves, but at that rate, you're basically just gonna get some foxtail control. Then the Sharpen in there has great residual on broadleaf weeds, and it does an awesome job on burndown. So with Verdict, I really like that in the no-till system, but it can be used in conventional till as well. All right, let's talk about the HPPD options. There's Balance Flex, Corvus that contains Balance Flex, and also Lumax. Now, some people might throw Halex GT in there as well, but that's really a post product. So with the Lumax and with the Corvus, you've got good residual control for both grasses and broadleaves because you got two different active ingredients. With Balance Flex, it's one active ingredient that's much stronger on broadleaves than it is on grass. But either way, we like any of those products simply because they're pretty good on the Roundup resistant weeds. Just keep in mind that if you use an HPPD down, in other words, Callisto or Balance Flex down, we don't want to use those post emerge. So that means you're probably gonna have to go with Status, Banvel, Clarity, maybe Bucktro post-emerge, but avoid Callisto, Laudus, Impact, or Armazon post-emerge. So just kind of keep that in mind. You gotta look at the whole program and what you're doing for the whole season and don't use that same active ingredient twice. Then we look at Triple Flex and Sure Start. They've got three different active ingredients in there. You've got the Harness or Surpass component, then you've got the Python and Stinger that make up the broadleaf component. Python is an ALS type product. Stinger is a growth regulator. Uh, so you've got three different modes of action out there. These have been really popular products across the upper Midwest. They do a nice job on small seeded broadleaves. They also have some reach on some of the larger seeded broadleaves like Cockleburr, Sunflower, Velvet Leaf. They aren't gonna be perfect, but they do much better than some of the other products that we've talked about. Yeah, and they are a little bit less expensive too. I don't think they're quite as good as like a verdict would be or the, the sharpened component really on some of the small seeded broadleaves, but it's pretty close. So anyway, our whole point here is whatever you're going to use, we just want you using a good pre-emerge herbicide in corn. Don't think you're gonna go one pass. It's always gonna take two passes if you want great weed control. And I mean, let's face it, yeah, commodity prices are down some, but there's still plenty of potential out there to make good money on the farm. We know that weeds hurt yield. We know that weeds hurt net income. So make sure you're doing everything you can to control your weeds, especially if they're Roundup resistant. Well, one of the weeds you may be after this year is our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to control this weed coming up next. <music> 